Jayce Mataji, possiamo cominciare inchinandoci ai piedi di loto della nostra cara e divina madre, prostrandoci ai suoi piedi in un profondo namaskar. Jayce Mataji, let us begin bowing down to our beloved divine mother's lotus feet, doing namaskar. Ci alziamo la Kundalini e ci diamo i sette bandhan. Let us raise our Kundalini and take seven bandhans. Cominciamo a mettere entrambe le mani verso la Madre Terra. We can place both our hands on Mother Earth. In modo da scaricare tutte le tensioni, tutti i blocchi del nostro corpo sottile. To release all the tensions and all the catches of our subtle body. Portarci così nella condizione migliore per entrare in meditazione. And bring ourselves in the best condition for our meditation. Scarichiamo ora il lato sinistro, mettiamo la mano sinistra verso l'alto, la mano destra verso terra. Now let's clean the left side, putting our left hand on our lap, the right hand towards the ground. Ed ora scarichiamo un pochettino il lato destro, mettendo la mano destra sul ginocchio e la mano sinistra in alto, col palmo rivolto verso la schiena, in modo da scaricare tutto il calore, la brezza fresca dello Spirito Santo che entra nella mano destra e spinge il calore fuori dalla mano sinistra. Now let's clean the right side, putting our right hand on the lap and the left hand upwards with the palm facing back so as to clean all the heat. The cool breeze of the Holy Spirit entering the right hand pushes the heat out of the left hand. Madre, in realtà io non faccio nulla, solo tu fai tutto. Sono solo un essere umano. Mother, in reality, I do nothing. Only you do everything. I'm only a human, a human being. Ora portiamo la mano sul ginocchio. Riportiamo la mano destra verso terra e preghiamo Shimataji di far sì che Sri Ganesha sia completamente risvegliato dentro ciascuno di noi. We bring the left hand back to our lap and the right hand to the ground. We pray to Sri Mataji for Sri Ganesha to be fully awakened within each of us.
a potente signore di Ganesha. Possa la tua purezza essere così forte dentro di noi, che noi stessi diventiamo la purezza. Almighty Lord Sri Ganesha, may your purity be so strong within us, so that we ourselves become purity. E che la tua innocenza sia così forte, che noi stessi possiamo diventare l'innocenza. Make your innocence so strong that we ourselves can become innocents. Possa la tua spontaneità essere così forte che noi stessi possiamo diventare la spontaneità. May your spontaneity be so strong that we ourselves can become spontaneity. Potente Signore Sri Ganesha, possa la tua saggezza risplendere dentro di noi, così che noi stessi diventiamo la saggezza. Almighty Lord Sri Ganesha, may your wisdom shine within us, so that we ourselves become wisdom. Andiamo per tre volte il mantra a Shri Ganesha. Shri Ganesha mantra three times. Om Tuameva Sakshat Shri Ganesha Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namunama Om Tuameva Sakshat Shri Ganesha Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Om Tvameev Sakshat Shri Ganesha Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Alziamo per un po' di volte la nostra Kundalini con la mano destra dall'osso sacro, il suo seggio fino al Sasrara. We raise our Kundalini a few times with our right hand from the sacrum bone, its seat, to Sasrara. Portiamo la mano destra sulla fronte. We put right hand on our forehead. Madre. Tu sei Shri Mahalakshmi. E sei anche Shri Mahavishnu. Mother, you are Shri Mahalakshmi and you are also Shri Mahavishnu. Tu sei Shri Maria e Shri Gesù. You are Shri Mary and Shri Jesus. Ma ancora tu sei il consolatore promesso da Cristo, venuto su questa terra 
lo Spirito Santo incarnato, per donare all'uomo l'emancipazione, la conoscenza, l'amore. The Comforter promised by Christ, who came on this earth, the Holy Spirit incarnated to give emancipation, knowledge, love to Preghiamo quindi, nella tua forma di Sri Maria e Gesù, di aprire completamente i nostri agni a chakra. And therefore we pray you, in your form of Sri Mary and Sri Jesus, to fully open our agni a chakras. possa la luce illuminare completamente la nostra mente, superare l'ego e il superego, stabilizzare il nirvichara samadhi ed esprimere il desiderio di raggiungere il nirvikalpa samadhi. And may the light fully illuminate our mind, overcome our ego and superego, establish our nirvichara samadhi and express the desire to attain nirvikalpa samadhi. Possiamo riposare la mano sul ginocchio? ed ascoltare il Padre Nostro in aramaico, cantato da, e suonato, performato da alcune Sajja Yogis. We can bring our hand on our lap and listen to the Lord's Prayer in Aramaic, sung and performed by Sajja Yogis.
Siamo alcuni minuti nel silenzio. We can remi- remain some time in silence. Madre, possa tu accettare l'offerta dei tuoi grandi mantra. Madre, may you accept the offer of the three great mantras.
ok ora vedremo il video di Shumataji del Natale 1986 Now we will watch a video from Christmas Puja in 1986 Do you mark not like passes? Do you mark not like The background scene. Today we have all been waiting to celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's so much significant that we are in a place here, the same type of a hut Jesus had 
when he was born. And the wind was blowing from all sides and it was difficult to keep the room very warm. Though, if it is correct, he was not born in the month of December, in a warmer month, not so very cold, maybe this much, as you see. So maybe that the climate of today is quite significant with the climate that he must have felt. As for you people, you don't feel any discomfort in this climate, nor in the surroundings, nor in the Spartan living. He never felt any discomfort, nor his mother. When our tension is on our spirit, then we do not feel the discomfort of nature or of worldly things. This is the first sign uh, when a Sahaja Yogi starts complaining about comforts, then the first sign is that he is not a Sahaja Yogi as yet. To begin with, you just get absolutely acclimatized with the climate and enjoy the style, the speed, the way it is molding you. There is no friction between the nature and the body because the spirit which is synchronizer helps you to become one with this nature and enjoy the best part of it. The way you are enjoying it shows that you are great surgeries. And that goes to my credit, I think, that you people have accepted all the discomfort as enjoyments. Christ's coming was a great event, as I have told you, to establish our gadget. And he was born on this earth, but much before he was born in the consciousness. And that absolute consciousness itself took birth as Jesus Christ. To explain his life is only possible if you are realized souls. Otherwise you cannot explain Christ, what he was, how he worked. Still. It's very difficult to explain many things in Sahaja Yoga, as you know. You just go on seeing things. Today you saw fountains coming out of the lake, which nobody can explain, even the engineer said they can't explain, nobody can explain it. It just happens that the water gets excited, feels the divinity and starts pouring out its love in a bubbly manner. Can you imagine that even the water can feel it? You have seen how the light can feel it. In the same way, every element can feel it. All those elements are within us. The highest of all, as we say, is the light. Because light has an effect and that is governed by Jesus Christ. Light has an effect. Light shows things that are correct. That's the one which makes us understand all the dimensions of worldly things. And ultimately, when this light comes from the Spirit, and is enlightened by the Spirit, then you start seeing the other dimensions also which sometimes make you laugh, sometimes make you smile, and sometimes make you cry. Such a beautiful new dimension you have achieved through Sahaja Yoga. 
but it was all built in within you and you had to achieve it. People on the other side had to work very hard, like Jesus Christ was born in a small manger to show that divinity need not be born in royal families, can be born in a manger, can be born anywhere, makes no difference to the divinity. But that has given some funny ideas to people that they are saying we should make ourselves miserable and we should give away everything to God. God doesn't want anything, He cannot have it and you cannot give anything. It's a wrong idea that you become like a pauper and give everything to God. He doesn't want that. What He wants that you have to be happy, joyous and enjoy. That's the main point. Also, if you give little bit, very little bit to God, then He gives you hundred times more. That's why you have to give a very wee bit to God. But you don't have to hang yourself by the trees to prove that you want to sacrifice. Christ has done everything for you. That's the beauty of His life is that from the very beginning of His birth He has shown that He has enjoyed no material well-being, as we call it. He has not enjoyed any worldly things as we know of, but that just means that He has done that for us to see that there is no need for us to hanker after worldly things, they will hanker after us. You don't have to worry about these things, what you have to worry is the Spirit, the main thing. All his life, which was very short I should say, he has been trying, he was very much interested in evaluating people because he didn't know what sort of things these human beings are. He was a foreigner for these human beings. So he tried to evaluate and in that evaluation he said many things which are very remarkable and one has to understand. One of the things he said that don't throw your pearls before people who do not want to understand you. For Sahaja Yogis it is important to understand that you should not talk about Sahaja Yoga to people who are anti-God. Now he may be your brother, may be your sister, may be your father, may be anyone, there is no need to convince them about Sahaja Yoga because they are not your relations. Many people have only this worry, how to convince my husband or how to convince my brother. There is no need at all for you to work it out. Just give them up on this point. The another thing He has told us, which is very important, I think, that we must forgive. He has given the greatest weapon that we must forgive. Now it's such a practical thing to forgive. If you just forgive, the person doesn't exist anymore and the person doesn't trouble you anymore, nor is he in your attention. Just to forgive is the simplest thing to do and the highest thing to do to re get relief from worldly or mental tortures that we get. His life has been a story of spirituality going through all kinds of turmoils and tortures, all types of troubles that the spirit can go through to show 
that nobody can kill that spirit. As he said in the Gita, Nainam chidanti shastrani nainam dahati pavaka na chainam kledayantyapo na shosayati maruta. It cannot be killed, it's an eternal life and he tried to prove through his life the eternity. From the beginning to the end he showed that spirit is above matter, that nothing can dominate spirit. It's a very big thing he has done for us, is to create such a big confidence in our spirit. He has proved it beyond doubt. I hope you people will understand and will not bother me or bother yourself with small petty things here and there. It's nothing important. Ask for bigger things, eternal things, valuable things. Also I'm very happy that you like this place and you are enjoying yourself here very much. And today we have de declared so many marriages, there have been so many events in this short time. So I would like to bless you all for this Christmas Eve and I wish you all a very happy Christmas and Happy New Year. As me Muttamun English Madhe Bole, but Tumha Sagaan Pune Karana English Eta Hai, Tumha Jasta Kaya Chacha Khula Sa Kum Sa. Dopo queste meravigliose parole di Shrimata ci possiamo eh, ascoltare e guardare insieme questo bellissimo bacian dedicato a Natale. Jai Shrimata Ji. After these wonderful words of Shrimata Ji, we can listen and watch together this beautiful bacian dedicated to Christmas. Jai Shrimata Ji. Oh, 
तारक जन्मा जगीदारक जन्मा सर्वतमाला Dopo questo bellissimo video possiamo posare la nostra fronte ai piedi di rotto di nostra madre, inchinandoci a lei in Namaskar e poi ci alziamo la Kundalini e ci diamo i sette banda. After this beautiful video we can lay our foreheads at our mother's lotus feet, bowing to her in Namaskar 
and then we can raise our kundalini and give ourselves seven bandhans. Thank you. 